have a lot of patients that are on several different medications, some which are including antidepressants, um, psychiatric drugs, and I'm finding that, you know, a lot of people are just seduced. They're seduced, they're depending upon their doctors instead of depending on Jesus Christ. We lived in a seduced state of mind. And the Bible makes it very clear that we are to be sober-minded. And also, I want to bring up, which is important too, we see how many people have cancer and all of these different diseases, some diseases now we've never even heard of. And these medications that these patients are taking have long-term effects, short-term effects. And a lot of these um, studies that are done in these, and I know this because I've been in the pharma world for quite some time, a lot of these studies are not done over extended period of times, meaning over 10 years, 20 years. They're not following these patients and they're not aware of the long-term effects that these medications have. Now we do know the medications have serious side effects. Most patients don't even read the side effects for medications. Well, the medications in my office that these patients take have very serious side effects. Um, and, and that's just taking the medication. And they're taking several different medications at one time. Who's to say, and no one really knows, not even the doctor, what the side effects will have as far as relating and contra, um, indicating with the other contradictions with the other medications that the patient is taking. You know, down the line, and then you find out a patient now has cancer, and then they'll just assume it's from heredity or, you know, whatever the case is. But it can be indeed, which I feel is from these medications. So I just wanted to share that we are not to be seduced, and it just shows you another way that Satan uses people. Because when you're not sober-minded, you're going to make de bad decisions. You, I mean, I see so many patients are so dependent upon the doctor. So dependent. We have to pray to our Lord and Savior, who is our healer, not your doctor. Your doctor is a prescriber, and all he's doing is prescribing medication. He is not curing you. Jesus cures. And the biggest thing that we need to be cured from is sin. It is sin. So I just wanted to share that. Have a great day.